here in the Cardinal Stadium, right outside the recruiting lounge, Rick Posich, you just got done with a one-on-one -on -one conversation with Jeff Brom, uh, ranged from does he have any hobbies to <laughs> what's his assistant coaching uh, situation going to look like? Uh, first impressions, what you come away with? Um, you know, my first impression is he's an unbelievably organized and focused, serious-minded guy. Um, he's already done a lot of things to set the stage for him to arrive here. He's decided that at least four of his Purdue assistants, Ron English, uh, Brian Brom, Chris Barclay, and Garrick McGee, are going to join him at Louisville. Could be more. He's already talked to the 12 guys that Louisville has committed. Uh, he's going to spend a lot of time this weekend doing that. He's already met with the team. Um, you know, but he knows, he said he's swimming in it right now. And yeah. He knows he just has to keep doing that and things will settle down. But, you know, he's, you can tell by talking to him, he's a very organized person. Yeah. Well, and, you know, we went through this whole day yesterday and these things are just, uh, it's kind of like a sprint and, and the thing starts and it's from the time he gets to the press conference. He walks in the room at 5.02 PM, by the way. Uh, don't know if that was symbolic, <laughs> but, um, you know, it, so all of this goes on, um, and you don't really have time to process it. We try and write it real fast, but what stands out to you as you look back at that day yesterday? I mean, it was pretty surreal that it happened all so fast. Um, that is one thing that stood out to me, just how he got a text from his son, Brady Brom, who's very active on social media. I don't know what he was doing, not paying attention in class, but he's mm -hmm. texting his dad. Brady. Dad, have you checked Twitter? Then he texts his grandfather, Oscar, down here in Louisville. Have you checked Twitter? Uh, Brahm's agent, Sean Freibert, was actually in Los Angeles. It was going to be a relaxing vacation, work vacation, go to two NFL games and play some golf. And he had to get on a plane the next day and fly back. Um, but to me, the one thing that stood out from Jeff Brahm during his introductory press conference was uh, that Mike Bobinski at Purdue said, you know, tell me the, the price and tell me the years and we can, you know, extend your contract or sweeten your contract. And he said, I appreciate that, but that's not what this is about. I'm not trying to get a raise out of you. This is about going home. Yeah. Uh, and that, that said it all. Yeah, it did. Uh, I think, you know, that in the end, this is something we felt like, you know, we hoped maybe might happen someday, could happen someday. Didn't know a couple of years ago when he, he passed on the job a couple of years ago to stay at Purdue. You kind of wondered, well, how many opportunities are you going to get to do this? You just don't know. Uh, the fact that it's happened, uh, it feels like it was something that that was meant to happen. Uh, but it's still, again, just the speed and the quickness of something that people have waited for so long. It, it kind of takes your breath away. I look to my right. There's a picture of head coach Scott yeah. Satterfield just over here on the right. Everything is new. This is a fairly calm place right now. The the sounds of the team getting here and starting to move. There's starting to be some activity down downstairs. They practice at noon today. Mm -hmm. They're still getting ready for a bowl game. Uh, we're not sure even of the makeup of anything. Everybody here's doing a lot on the fly. It's a pretty. Uh, it, it would be amazing to just kind of watch the efforts going on right here just to get ready for this. But uh, but it's all. It's all been fun to watch and it's been interesting to cover, even though uh, a lot of uncertainty for people around here as they get it going. So, yeah, it's going to be a more exciting thing to cover going forward. I mean, I know that people don't really care about what kind of challenges that we face yeah. uh, in the media, but I just know that, you know, Jeff Brown grew up here. He has relationships with a lot of people in the media in this town. He has a different view of the media than a lot of people. And I think we'll be able to tell better stories Hopefully. about what's going on at the University of Louisville because uh, of that. Yeah. I mean, there have been some coaches that uh, kept us at arm distance and, you know, you don't really get much access. I'm not saying that, you know, yeah. we're going to go to any practice we want to go mm -hmm. to, but I think it'll be more open and that helps us do our job better. Uh, and our job is to help inform people on what's going on. Yeah. Hopefully we can do that. Uh, we will continue to do that with these videos or the stuff we've got going on. Uh, we will get out of the way of everybody that's going to start moving through here as, as things that heat yes. up during the day. But thanks a lot for watching and keep watching Rick's interview. will be at WDRB platforms all day. He'll have a column up and uh, we'll have a lot more on the situation with Louisville football. Thanks for watching.